You don't remember my name? <laughs> The name, 051 Melly, will forever live in infamy on the streets as a legend, known as the Gravedigger, that went to war with a rich, famous rapper, and won. Well, he didn't really win because nobody ever wins when there is a cycle of violence and retaliatory murders, but he did make Lil Durk suffer several big losses, bringing a lot of pain. The war started when Durk posted a video mocking the death of 051 Young Money member and rapper Lil Mark. Yes, at the heart of this beef is a murder allegedly committed by THF Twilla, 5 star from Folly Boys, D Rose from 600, T Roy, and King Von from Oblock, but it was that stupid video where Dirk mocked the death of Melly's homie that fueled Melly's bloodlust. He couldn't get to Dirk because of his fame and fortune, so one by one, he was killing the people closest to him. First, he killed Dirk's cousin, Nooski, known in hip hop circles as OTF Nu Nu, in May 2014 while sitting in a parked car outside of the strip mall on 87th and Cottage Grove, while Dirk bought a pair of shoes. In March 2015, Melly killed Dirk's manager and THF 46 affiliate OTF Chino, while he was sitting in a parked car waiting for a late night meal in front of Stony Subs on 84th and Stony Island. After that, Dirk put a bag on Melly's head, $150,000 to be exact. A couple of months later, in May 2015, a 15-year-old shooter from THF 46 named Raheem attempted to collect the money. Melly was hit in the foot and received a graze wound to the head. Two weeks later, Melly killed Raheem when he ran down on him in an alley on 45th and Cottage Grove. Melly was proud of himself. Here's a clip from a notoriously entertaining conversation between Melly and the chief of THF 46, Bezu. Bezu is a close friend of Lil Durk and considered himself a surrogate father to the boy that Melly chased into an alley. This is the conclusion to the real life story of Shy Rack's Gravedigger. I'm gonna go sleep, y'all, boy. What is here, man? Yeah, me too, man. Okay. I'm gonna read you a bedtime story, tuck you in. Huh? I'm gonna read you a bedtime story, tuck you in. Tell you about this nigga when he walked down the dark alley. He can't make it to the other end of the alley. I'm just reading the comments, bro. I'm just asking you, I'm saying, you say, you say, you say, you say to go to sleep. I am. And I say, I say, I want to tell you about this story about this nigga, right? He went in through the, or one end of the alley, but he didn't make it to the other end. The black, the black alley, can't take the story. I've heard of it. It's a story. Why? You never heard of it. Why? He wasn't there, of course. I've heard of it. I wouldn't tell a story. I wouldn't tell a story. I'll be hypocritical myself. Man, I'm saying that was a fucking joke. But you don't walk down this alley, yeah? I don't want you to walk down this alley. It's certain alley. THF Rahim didn't make it out of the alley after leaving Golden Fish and Chicken on May 24, 2015, but his cousin, FBG Duck, did make it to his funeral, despite his friendship with Raheem's killer, Melly. FBG Duck boldly tweeted the day Raheem died, Lil THF shorties better remember, dat's my blood lil cousin. I will be at dat funeral, so be ready to see my face, period. R.I.P. Raheem, pound, family first. The following day he wrote, I lost two of my lil' cousins in the last two years. Shit hurts. Rest up scrap. Rest up Raheem. Thankfully, nothing happened at the funeral, but a lot of cold stares and stone faces. FBG Duck and his brother FBG Brick were GDs from STL, EBT. Their younger cousin Scrap represented Mob, which is one of their allies, but their little cousin Raheem joined their ops, TH46. FBG Duck, FBG Brick, Scrap from Mob, and THF Raheem, all died violently on the streets gangbanging. In part 1, we asked everyone to remember the links between 051 Melly, FBG Duck, Motor from Jaro City, and TB from Taekwon World because their alliance would become important later. We're not quite at that point yet. I just mention it as a reminder because in part 2, we introduced Uncle Ruckus to perform an exorcism so we could lift the evil spirits of self-destruction from our souls. Let's see how that's working out, before we detail the history of the war between a 5-1 Young Money and THF 46. You all are testicles and no share. Oh, yeah. What happened to your share? That powerful niggardry at work here. <laughs> Who in the hell are you? Nigga, my name is Reverend Father Uncle Rucka. No relation. In the name of white Jesus and all great white men who have come thereafter, I command our black nigga soul back to the depths of hell. <laughs> is that all you got, nigga? Oh, no, nigga. That's just the tip of this eye, buddy. Breathe, nigga, breathe! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
THF was eager to catch a body from 051 to get some get back for the murder of Rahim. Three months after his death, Westbrook from THF 46, caught Wank from 051 Young Money, lacking and murdered him. Wank was walking down the 4900 block of South Drexel when a white SUV pulled up to him at around 8.30 p.m. The person in the passenger's seat, allegedly Westbrook, exited the vehicle firing multiple shots. Obviously, this wasn't the first body to drop between the two gangs, and it certainly wasn't the last, so let's go back to the beginning. On March 13, 2008, 051 Young Money member Carlos Merrills, also known as Lowe's, was shot to death on the 4800 block of South Drexel at 3.28 p.m. His death marked the first body to drop in their war against 46 Terror, also known as the Trigger Happy Family, or THF 46. Franco and Bo Bo from THF 46 were the suspected killers. Franco was later arrested and convicted for this crime. At this time, Melly wasn't really gangbanging with 051 yet. He considered himself a BD hanging around a bunch of Mickey Cobras from 051, nothing more, nothing less, but things would change with Melly when THF 46 scored again on his homies from 051. Isaiah Zeko Walker was an 18-year-old gang member from 051 Young Money that was killed during an altercation outside of McDonald's on September 27, 2008, while visiting home from Ashton University. While at the McDonald's parking lot in the 700 block of East 47th Street, Zeko got into an argument with some THF 46 members and was shot multiple times. He died as a result of his injuries. Aki Walton was soon charged with one count of murder for the death of Zeko, but fled from prosecution. The FBI would later track him to the home of a relative in nearby Indianapolis, where he was arrested and brought to trial. THF Aki is now serving 28 years in prison. Following the death of Zeko, members of the gang 051 Young Money created Zeko World in his honor. On July 5, 2009, authorities began searching for several suspects in the fatal shooting of Dominic Barnes, a member of Touch Money, which is a gang allied with 051. Police responded to the shooting of the 21-year-old in the 4700 block of South Forestville Avenue at 10.15 a.m. Witnesses told police that Dominic was shot after two people exited a gray Chevrolet Monte Carlo and started firing shots. In 2010, Bruh Bruh, who claimed both O Block and THF 46 killed O51 Young Money member, Twin. Bruh Bruh has a fearsome reputation. This is the guy that choked Chief Keefe out, and threw him in a garbage can. He is also one of the alleged gang members that exited a gray Monte Carlo and killed Dominic Barnes. In 2011, he was arrested. There's also a video of him holding his cellmate hostage, while throwing feces and urine at officers, because he refused a prison transfer. On April 8, 2011, 051 Montana exited a black two-door vehicle, while approaching a group of people standing by the post office on 46th and Cottage Grove, and hit Quinton Turner with a headshot that killed him. Bezu was shot in his left leg while standing close to Quinton, but he was soon back on the streets. A THF affiliate named Tony McCoy was shot and killed on July 16, 2011. He was standing on the 1100 block of East 47th Street with a group of THF members, when a vehicle with 051 members inside, opened fire on them. Bezu was back on the streets after getting shot in 2011 until the year 2014, when he was arrested at Lil Dirk's crib, and charged with the murder of Dominic Barnes. He was accused of hopping out of that Monte Carlo with bra bra. Keep all of this in mind as we continue our coverage with more from Melly and Bezu on live, and hear from Trench's news about Bezu and bra bra in jail, before returning with more stories about the life and times of Chirac's grave digger. Who the reason why you play with guns? Who forced y'all in this shit? Y'all the person who do it. Y'all would drive y'all mama's car to 8th grade, bro. I'm not. I'm going to drive my mama's car. I'm going to drive my mama's car. Y'all listen to grammar school drive y'all mama's car. The whole your money was bitches and basketball players. Keep it real. Oh, now you're lying, fuck. You just said half of it, baby. Hey, bitches, you can say half of your money was basketball players. You can't say nobody no bitches, nigga. Hey, Melly, man, half of y'all was bitches and moms, boys, man. Y'all drive y'all mama's car to 7th and 8th grade, bro. We okay, forced y'all in this shit, bro. We the reason why y'all got to our name right now. You know that. You say y'all the reason why we got a name? And y'all the reason why y'all got a name. We get y'all got a name. It go both ways. No, it go both ways. We can't get back with that. You want to start this one? It's going to go both ways. Uh, we been it's never, it's seven, never been no killing without killing. We're going to keep it real, though. We've been in tour with y'all so seven, bro. Yeah, right, but it ain't, it's never been no killing without killing, so we ain't gonna be gonna I'm saying, where, 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 where,
know, hey, I'm keeping fun. This somebody, this somebody got to see him, right? You never heard of what? Ten. They ain't having back to back. This somebody down at ten, right there. Is, did you get shot then? I got shot at eleven. All right, where is that? You got shot, right? Yeah. You got shot and then and, and somebody check, right? All right, we ain't gonna be doing that. All right, look, 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 man. All right, now don't call me dude. We ain't gonna do that on the internet. Fifteen and sixteen, bro, is where y'all went up. Brother, I went to jail for a body, and he was supposed to told on um, he supposed to told on the dirt crib and Bay Zoo and them and all that shit. Well, look, we are gonna fast forward this shit to the county. Every motherfucker who was talking about brother was tricking outside in the world. When we got in that motherfucker county, on my mama's brother, brother was looking for niggas, beat niggas ass. He was looking for Bay Zoo. On my mama, he was trying to bank himself to every deck to get the Bay Zoo. Bay Zoo ass was scared, bro. I ain't gonna need a lot to you. If you watching this shit, Bay Zoo, you know you was scared, nigga. On my mama. 14, 15, all them years you was in there. 16, your ass was scared when brother was looking for your ass. Because you was the one walking around talking about you tricking. But your ass was... You ain't, want, you ain't want that smoke. You was dodging that shit, bro. On that thing. To be perfectly fair to Bay Zoo, this network does not believe that he was scared, or ducking anyone in jail. He had very little control, if any, over where he, or any other inmate, was housed. Jail is modern day slavery. Bay Zoo may have run his deck, or his pod, or whatever the fuck the cool term is, but he wasn't a corrections officer. You lose your rights when you get locked up. It's not cool when someone else determines when you eat and sleep. I strongly suggest that my people end the violence, stay woke, and stay free. And for anyone out there that's still watching who thinks we're all cap at this network, just listen to the words out of these niggas mouths on social media. Melly and Bezu confirmed that THF 46 killed Zeko in 2008. It took a while for 051 to get that get back, but THF Quint, and Tony, were killed back to back in 2011 as retaliation. Melly entered the war against OTF, TH-46, and 600 when he started his murder spree in 2012. His squad started to go up on the kill and nigga scoreboard around 2015 or 16. Before that, Ella Capone was killed by 051 Young Money in 2013, and Rondo No. 9 was arrested for murder in 2014. Dirk wasn't the only one taking losses though because Melly suffered two big losses in 2016. One was the loss of 051 Young Money member, Bankroll Q. Melly murdered one of his alleged killers within hours. The other was the loss of his younger brother Wu's uncle, Kurt Mack, who stayed involved in all of the siblings' lives throughout his own. Kurt Mack was a GD from Snowblock, who associated himself with Melly's friends King Louie and Mubu Crump, and the Mubu movement. There is a viral video of him talking on the phone when a vehicle approaches attempting a drive-by. Kurt calmly pulls out his weapon with one hand, while still holding his phone with the other, with a cigarette in his mouth, and starts firing. Kurt Mack's loss was a big one for Melly. THF Rome is his alleged killer. So, you know Melly sought revenge against the gang that killed his beloved uncle, if you don't, then you haven't been paying attention. All of the murders linked to Melly, and more, are explored in the introduction to our docuseries titled, Melly's War with Shy Rack's Gravedigger, and part 2 titled, Dirk Puts $150,000 on Gravedigger's Head. In 2018, Melly nearly lost his life when he was shot in the arm five times and a bullet grazed his head. He was at a party with his homie Mubu Crump. Crump was shot and killed during the attack. His alleged killers are Bay Zoo and Lil T from THF 46, and Lil Steve from Lamron. Again, the self-snitching on social media seems to confirm this. They can call me all they want. They can't call me a duck, but no son. You ain't no duck, bro. You ain't no duck, bro. You there. You the man. You the man. You want me on your side? You want me on your side? Huh? You want me on your side? I don't need you on my side. my woman.
you hurt your feelings to you, I'm real smart. You even throw me out of I'm not no fucking idiot. After Bezu killed Crump on May 25, 2018, and caught Melly lacking, with his dick out, pissing in the bushes, Melly wanted revenge against Dirk and OTF. First, he would once again kill one of the people involved in the murder of Bankroll Q. Tyrone T.Y. Marshall was a member of GGE and present at the scene of Bankroll Q's death. He was also known for dropping the Y, in pictures, signaling his own gang affiliation, and disrespect toward young money. He was leaning against a parked car talking to a friend on the 4000 block of South Calumet when a car pulled up and opened fire at 3.27 pm. After Melly's murder, members of GGE posted pictures with the caption Long Live T.Y. Melly continued to stalk Dirk's family members in Chicago, OTF, and members of THF 46 until a few months later on October 8, 2012, when this happened. Right behind me there one of them is in critical condition another is serious and a third man who was shot is not giving police any information on what may have led up to this the car riddled with bullet holes coming to a stop near 111th place and cottage grove where it ended up in the middle of the street police say officers responded to a shot spotter alert where they found the three men wounded according to police besides the victims there were no other witnesses the shooting originally happened in the 600 block of East 115th Street. Just after 2.45 this morning, we could see bullets went through a nearby McDonald's. No one is in custody and area South detectives are investigating. A source tells us all three victims who are in their late 20s, early 30s are known to police. Darnell Banks, also known as Baby D, was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center with gunshot wounds to the abdomen and back where he was pronounced dead. Baby D was Lil Dirk's cousin. D Thang, Dirk's brother, was struck with multiple gunshots into his abdomen and legs. Luckily, he survived. OTF Fresh, from Lamron, was shot in his left knee. He was not seriously injured. Was this the work of the grave digger? Did he claim the life of another member of Dirk's family? Some say he was with Snow Block, when Baby D was murdered, others call Cap. After a while, it seems like Melly was to blame for anything bad that happened to Dirk. But, the theories of his involvement in Baby D's death are not conjured up out of thin air. Snow Block is the set of GDs claimed by Melly's uncle, Kurt Mack, and his friend, Mubu Crump. So, it's entirely possible that they slid on Dirk's people together. At the end of the day though, the who did what to who, and why they did it no longer matters. All that matters is this stupid shit must stop. Immediately. 051 Young Money Rapper, Lil Mark, was a street nigga that was really about that life. He had allegedly shot THF Twilla in the neck, weeks before Twilla and his hit team got revenge. Street niggas were doing street shit. There was no need for Dirk to make the bus stop where Lil Mark died a famous place. Dirk was chasing clout. His people paid for it. It's sad to say but a lot of the murder, and mayhem attributed to Melly could have been avoided, if Dirk had not fallen victim to a nigga moment. Months after the murder of Baby D in October 2018, Melly and FBG Duck's friend, Motor, from Jaro City, 
was killed in January 2019. At this point in time of our story, Terry Berry, or TB from Taekwon World was already dead as a result of him killing T-Roy from O Block. FBG Duck, TB, and Motor were the links between STL, EBT, Taekwon World, and Jaro City. We will explore the life of T-Roy, and death of TB, when we tell the story of the Get Back Gang in an upcoming documentary, so please like this video, and subscribe for more stories like this from us. After Melly's death, FBG Duck tweeted, We talked for two hours one day. Telling each other about these snake ass niggas. I took your advice and separated myself from the fake love. I wish you would have took my advice. You definitely hurt a lot of people with this one. Rest easy gang. On September 1, 2019, Melly was at a house party located on 6107 South St. Lawrence, which is Jar O City territory. A few weeks earlier, Melly and 0078 from Taekwon World had got into a gambling dispute over a dice game. This is not surprising because most of Melly's arrests were for gambling, nothing serious like the murders he committed, and there is a famous clip of him playing cards with FBG Duck, and Motor from Jaro City, on YouTube. Nate refused to pay the money that he owed Melly, which is strange considering Melly's background, but Nate proved he wouldn't be intimidated even after Melly shot up his house with Nate's girlfriend and newborn baby inside. Melly and Nate were both at the house party when this happened. Did everyone hear the same thing that I heard? Someone kept yelling y'all tweaking, y'all tweaking, somebody call an ambulance. Whoever that person is, has no fear that the gunman is going to shoot them, and wants somebody to call an ambulance, not the police. I think I even heard voices say, what are y'all laughing at? Y'all tweaking man. Man, they just killed Yarmail. Let's play the last part of the clip over again and tell me in the comments section whether you hear the same things that I heard, before we reveal, what you can do, to put an end to all of these murders, resulting from a nigga moment. A nigga moment cannot be resolved with violence, but where there's harmony and peace. What? What's happening? This is the backdoor era in Chicago drill street politics. Snakes that call themselves friends leave the backdoor at a house party unlocked for the ops to slide through. That's why it's called backdooring someone when you smile in their face, and then stab them in the back. Dro, from Taekwon World, decided that it was a good idea to ride with Nate when he killed Melly at a house party full of people. Dro was shot in the head and suffered permanent brain damage. Richie Jerk from Taekwon World who was present and shot when King Von killed Modell, was later killed to even the body count between 051 Young Money, and Taekwon World. The house party that Melly was at when he died was in celebration of the life of deceased STL, EVT member, Man Man, better known as Can't Get Right. A lot of people have speculated that a video showing him throwing down the Y for Young Money, in front of Melly, and then running next to FBG Duck when he noticed that Melly saw him had something to do with the back door being left open to kill Melly. Can't Get Right was apparently jumped, and beaten badly by members of Snow Block before throwing down the Y at a balloon release event for yet another dead gang banger. Snow Block is a gang behind King Louie, Mubu Crump, and Melly's uncle, Kurt Mack, so it's entirely possible that tension from Melly's connection to Snow Block contributed to growing feelings of animosity, leading to Melly's death. After hearing that another op had died, King Von rapped, Melly got shot up in the party, started Harlem shaking. King Von, of course, is now dead. Dirk's brother, D Thang tweeted, I walk around my hood with 40 to 50k on me, on Nooski. Nigga ain't never play with me on God. Every op that ever shot me, 
ain't here to tell they story, period. Dirk's brother, OTFD Thang, was murdered on June 6, 2021. So, the curse of Chirac's gravedigger on Dirk continued even after his death. Rest in peace to Yarmel, Melly Williams, all of his victims, and all of the fallen soldiers in this senseless war. Let's give peace a chance! Stop nigga moments, and please join us for our next documentary! It's about Team 600's forgotten player, D-Rose.